more activity, uh, a lot more violent activity. Well, the latest stabbing in Old Town has some business make an exit. A Portland police have an office right in the neighborhood and they patrol regularly, but some businesses say they still don't feel safe. Elise Haas is live this morning looking into exactly what's going on in Old Town right now. Elise. Yes, Ken and Jenny, it's a really tough situation for businesses here in Old Town, especially from a safety standpoint, but also a financial one as well. For instance, Ascendant Coffee in Old Town has been here for nearly a decade, and they're considering calling it quits. They say that over this past nine years that they've seen the area worsen during that time with crime, assaults, and, and violence, and camps. But some businesses say the city and police aren't doing enough to curb that crime. In the last year, it's worse than it has ever been in the, in the last nine years. We have drug deals up the street. We have, um, we had someone chase someone down the street with a machete. But other business owners say the problems are too widespread for a single agency to handle. The stabbing in Old Town yesterday, for instance, sent a person to the hospital. And this past month, a man was shot and killed in Old Town, and another person was stabbed. Overall, police have responded to reports of crime in the neighborhood more than 2,000 times since March of last year. And while crime like this in Old Town is pushing some business owners to consider seriously closing down, others say that they are not going anywhere. Regardless, Ken and Jenny, this is a conversation that we need to have to keep everyone in our community safe and also to keep these businesses in this area thriving. Reporting live in Old Town, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Yeah, Elise, there have always been issues in Old Town, but it sounds from these business owners like things are getting worse. So thanks for that uh, story. Well,